All right, guys, welcome back. I just wanted to show you what I've been up to today. Um, had the Trans Am. We took the Trans Am apart and the injectors out of it. Uh, it's developed a little bit of misfire. And it's had, uh, we've done compression tests and stuff like that on it. And uh, compression's good on all cylinders. I'm not worried about that. I think I've got a little bit of dirt from up in the tank. Uh, so we hauled the injectors out of it. Going to send them away to a fella and get them flushed out and cleaned out. And get the flow tested, make sure everything's working good. And we'll try that again. I did see some dirt in the injector. Uh, so I think I did get some sucked up from the fuel tank. It is an old car and it's still got the factory fuel tank on it. So 40 years old, it's due to have some garbage in it. Um, if that's the case, I'll flush out the fuel system and away we go again, change the filters. Um, other than that, uh, we did tear apart the Camaro today down here. There's the Roadster shop chassis out from underneath of it. I'm going to take in, uh, we've got it halfway on the rotisserie there now. I'm going to get it on the rotisserie the rest of the way and uh, sand it and clean it up and paint it. And then start putting that all back together. If you guys want to stay tuned for that, that should be exciting, huh? Well, it'll be something to watch anyways. <laughs> the Camaro body is sitting over on stands. Uh, I got some more work to do to that. As promised, I told you I would show you how I did the seats. Excuse me here. Too much junk in the way. Uh, and I will. I will show you how I put the 5th gen seats in it. And uh, what work I had to do to make it the 5th gen seats and the 5th gen console work inside the Camaro. So if you guys are interested in that, stay tuned and I'll show you all about that. Alright, till next time.